The story of our destination all began with our journey. It was a journey that celebrated our differences, a discovery through people around us towards becoming the best versions of ourselves. It was a journey with others, all the people who have helped us along the way, pushing us to move from our first small steps to our greatest leaps. It was a journey in balance, highs and lows, laughter and tears, challenges and triumphs. But in this part of our journey, we look back to a moment in time when all our stories merged into one, when all our hearts and minds were in the same place. And at this time, we found there was a fine line between our end of the journey and our arrival at the destination. In 1992, UPSA had first joined the Concorso Polifonico Internazionale Guido d'Arezzo in Arezzo, Italy, cited then as the Olympics of choral singing and the most prestigious of the six qualifying competitions. With their primary mission to share the Filipino culture to the world, the elusive grand prize did not dampen the group's spirit. In fact, it made them persevere all the more. And what was merely a dream before became a reality. In the year 2001, winning the grand prize in the Concorso Polifonico Internazionale Guido d'Arezzo in Italy gave us the rare chance of representing the Philippines and the Arezzo competitions at the European Grand Prix for Choral Singing in 2002. The main difference between the Arezzo competition and the EGP is that for EGP, you don't need to go through those different categories and the prelims. You're only allowed to perform once with more or less 25 minute repertoire, which is more or less composed of five to seven songs. I was also part of the 2000 group who won in Arezzo. Isang karangalan yun para sa amin na mairepresenta ang ating bansa sa isang napakalaking kompetisyon sa abroad. In the previous European tours, Uya Ed was always um, working his magic to pull us out of the the sheer impossibility of, of making things happen. You know, um, I still carry it to this day, that, that kind of attitude of um, persistence and uh, making the impossible possible. <laughs> Though we haven't brought home the bacon, we were so proud that we made it that far. And we were proud to go back home with that baby EGP trophy and the certificate that UPSA became part of the list of choirs who made it to the European Grand Prix round and one of the only four Filipino choirs in 2002 who reached that level. I would say that being part of the EGP entourage is one of the highlights of my life as a choral singer and being part of the UPSA family. After 2012, more batches came and gone and although they were not particularly preparing for a competition in that period, Kuya Ed himself always had Oops's burning dream at the back of his head to try their luck once more.
involve not just the musical, not just the intuitive aspects of singing. You need not to the psychological meaning of the song. For you to be able to manipulate that <clears throat> expression, there has to be enough space. Years later in 2018, easing into the mindset of competing again, Kuya Ed was preparing and molding UPSA by inviting speakers, consultants, and alumni members to help the current members build each other up. I was already working, I know I had a day job, but um, that passion for music was still there, so I was still able to catch up with the group uh, after my work. I would go to rehearsals at around 7 or 8 o'clock in the evening and then join their rehearsals on weekends. My batch in particular, it was our first time to join an international tour. It was also our first time to participate in a competition. We had the most prestigious panel members of the highest caliber in the world of choral composition and music. They helped us by sharing the expertise with vocal techniques. They gave us new perspectives of viewing and interpreting our music. This time I would say the group was more prepared um, and equipped to be able to give it all in our competitions.
sorry sa inyo. Okay? Wala hindi hindi na nyo. Lumalabas sa boses mo. Hindi ka tawa nyo. natural pagkalabas ng boses, yun ang isa sa mga goals ninyo. Kasi kung minsan, alam mo, meron tayong ano yun, meron tayong overwhelming sense of making your voice beautiful. Yung sense na gusto mong pagandahin yung boses mo, is you bring the same sense na nagtipigil sa'yo para pagandahin yung boses mo. We've been together 24-7 for around three to four months. So behind our concerts, our performances, our competitions, are these raw human moments with each other. We would eat together, <laughs> swim together, rehearse together, of course, take pictures with each other, learn K-pop dances together, generally have fun with each other. For me personally, the best parts of the tour are the hosts. We just saw that they were there. They had no bounds with their hospitality. They treated us like VIP guests. Sometimes they feel like we're the same. I fondly remember the meal times we had in Saisaya, Italy. Not only because I love food, or because we had really, really good food there, but because every meal time spent was an opportunity to bond and laugh. We had this long table situated just outside our rehearsal area. And you'd remember waking up to people having breakfast there, jokingly investigating who set their alarm too early and did not wake up to turn it off. Afternoons with friends coming all the way to Arezzo just to support the choir, which meant more people to share love and laughter with at lunch evenings of people doing the most random things like when the tenors dressed up as waiters and served food to everyone because they were in charge of kitchen duties like a family we had a lot of fights and tampuhan here and there but at the bottom line of everything you know we grew as people and we grew as a group and our connection with each other just deepened all the more and i think that spilled over to our music, to our singing, to our performing. Uh, we strongly believe that with the right attitude, anything is possible. It's very important for UPSA na makita na you are singing because you want to reach out to us. You are giving meaning to your music. That's the goal. That should be the goal.
all the time. I believe that the beauty of that journey was that uh, we all found this whole new level of strength that we probably didn't know we had before losing Kuya Paeng. Uh, for those who know him well, he is that type of person who doesn't want to be a burden to anyone, more so to Upsa. And he probably didn't want us to lose sight of our, of our goals. So for us, the members, what better way to celebrate his life and his legacy than to be at our best every single performance. Okay, the feeling I, I got um, in Torre Vieja when we, we won first prize. We're jumping for joy, but we were also crying because we would trade anything in this world to just have Kuya Paeng around to celebrate the victory with, you know? And <laughs> yeah, yeah, just thinking about it, it's uh, warming me up. Kuya Paeng was, by the way, uh, Upsa's, um, one of Upsa's the founding members and he basically sacrificed his, his career and uh, poured out his heart and soul into Upsa, dedicated his life to Upsa. And yes, we didn't want to let Kuya Paeng and Kuya Ed down and the result was one prize after another.
it's more uh, satisfying that we're producing a big sound without forcing it. Kailangan relax. Gran Premio Città di Arezzo 2018. Gran Prix Città di Arezzo 2018. È stato assegnato al coro It's been awarded to the choir. University of the Philippines Singing Ambassador di Quezon City, Filippine. Direttore Edgardo Manghia. I guess the single most powerful lesson that we learned from that experience in 2018 was gratitude and then humility. Gratitude for all that was, for all that happened, for all that is, for everything that is about to happen, may it be beautiful or ugly. You really have to just share the talent you have, whatever you can give, every chance you get, while you still can. And I think that UPSA took that to heart until 2019, during the EGP round. For this rare opportunity to qualify in the European Grand Prix, I felt that I could not just rely on my own. I needed the expertise and experience of my colleagues, and they wholeheartedly contributed and shared. And so, Tagumpay Nating Lahat was conceptualized, a blanket win because of the collaborative and consolidated efforts of all the musical and choral artists of the country to win not only for UPSA, but for the university and our country. When I look back to last year's journey to the EGP, I somehow remember more of the funny moments than the serious ones. Because somehow, even when we were in the midst of serious rehearsals, people would always have something to laugh about. This really helped ease the nervousness. The biggest factor that really helped us newbie survive was, of course, Kuya Ed and our Ates and Kuyas. Even just their presence reassures us and lets us know that uh, everything will be okay, no matter what the outcome is or what will happen. Uh, competing in 2019 was a little different compared to 2002 EGP because most of the singers were almost half my age. Learning music was done with the aid of technology. Then there's social media, and almost everything was streamed on social media. It's also a great challenge for me personally because I was traveling. Well, I was with my son, so I had to bring him to rehearsals and also abroad. As one of the founding members, I am proud to have seen UPSA develop and mature from an ordinary dormitory choir to an ensemble of international quality, an EGP qualifier at that. It is always such a joy to be with the UP Singing Ambassadors, be it with the older batches, my batch, or with the young generation. There's always a sense of belongingness and connection whenever I'm with them. UPSA is a family to me. It was indeed a privilege and joy for me to be able to give inputs on vocal techniques and production and assisting Kuya Ed in vocally coaching the members, particularly during the preparations 
for the European Grand Prix. It was such a serious endeavor, but at the same time, so much fun. Joining the AGP will change you in many ways. As an individual, for example, you learn to know more about yourself. You learn to know more about your weaknesses, your strengths, your limits, and learn to push your boundaries so that you become better and you continuously improve. Your vowel is there like it's a remote power. Listen to each other as you've done in the past because that's when you blend it better. You know, it's like uh, everything has come full circle. <laughs> uh, when we stepped into the competition stage, there was no more thinking of individual batches of UPSA. It was like UPSA as a whole, then and now. If I were to compare it to a movie, it would be the last Avengers movie <laughs> where all the superheroes, you know, re uh, reunited towards uh, one goal. EGP for me is really unforgettable not only that i was there to listen to the creme de la creme of the choirs of the world but being there to support and cheer for the up singing ambassadors i was there in the audience i uh, was sitting um with ate marie chris we used every ounce of our strength to just send out the the good energy to the group and uh just praying for the best because we knew how hard they worked. At the very last minute, they were still rehearsing. And, you know, just the fact that you are competing against a choir like Youth Camera of Latvia, that in itself is quite a feat. Yeah, but when we saw Upsa perform on stage, we knew that Kuya Ed and the rest of the group, they were going to give their best and that they did it with this um, newfound strength from the previous year. And for us, they had already won, uh, hands down. Uh, well, we were waiting for our turn to perform in what would arguably be the biggest choral stage 
the European Grand Prix. You know, memories flashed back, countless hours spent on studying uh, all the competition pieces, performing for different audiences. It was surreal that finally we were just you know, seconds away from performing in that stage in the EGP. You get really nervous at first, but as you go along through your performance and then you see familiar faces in the audience and fellow Filipinos who came all the way to Arezzo to support you and you know that people at home are also cheering you on so you find that light moment during um, the performance that inspires you and helps you sing with the right message. At the end of the EGP that night, thoughts and words of congratulations and appreciation lightened our hearts. Composer Lorenzo Donati of Arezzo said, The fact that this is a competition of grand prize winners, everybody is already a winner. The world-respected American and Swedish conductor Gary Graydon commented, You were the best choir in the evening, but I am not part of the jury this year. Winning for me is giving your damn best. Also the time, winning is the verdict of its member of the panel jury 
who are all well experienced and technically equipped. If I get the nod of the audience, with the resounding applause and standing ovations, that's a win for me. Representing the Philippines to this level of choral competition is always nerve wracking and, of course, nakaka proud. Qualifying the European Grand Prix Finals is a feat very few Filipino choirs have achieved. Doing this twice is therefore really exceptional. I congratulate Ed and all the singers for their hard work and tenacity. It's not just about winning, it's about leaving a mark here. And for me, nothing could be more powerful than that. If, if we were able to create a different reality for them, wherein there is unity, and where, wherein there's oneness in a world that is bound by misunderstandings and divisions, then I think we've done our job. If you're able to deliver music with meaning, and if you're able to breathe life into music, that makes it more beautiful. Kuya Ed indeed has nurtured the UP Singing Ambassadors to how it is right now. And to be true to its name, the Singing Ambassadors, wherever UPSA performs. More than being a competition, the European Grand Prix for Choral Singing is actually a showcase of champions and grand prize winners of the six top competitions of Europe and the world. So, having qualified to join in the EGP, UPSA has shown to the world that the Filipino talent is world class. And in that sense, it's already a big win for UPSA, for the University of the Philippines, and for the Philippines. is when you sing, you have to have incredible trust in each other. With your sense of being, your trust in each other, your belief in the dead, your gratefulness as a musician that you've been brought to this level.
pitch niya yung consonant na M at saka yung NG. Lalabas yung, yung brightness and then deep. been of service as a vocal coach to the grand prize winner of the most prestigious international choral competition is indeed an honor. But you ask yourselves, what is this common bond that Egai and Kichi share? This was Professor Ray D. Pagio, a mentor, whose personality created the atmosphere that encouraged our innermost talents to bloom and built strong interpersonal relationships within a performing group. I'm pretty sure though that RTP is smiling down from heaven, mighty proud of what Ed has become and done. Where Ed and I were still members of the UP Concert Chorus, he was our inspiration. I'm imagining Sir Ray smiling in heaven when both his UPCC members are now leading the best choirs. Our experiences with him enhanced our personal achievements and victories as choral artists. Working with you was truly inspiring. Your time, even if the majority of you are not music majors. It takes guts, bold ambition, trust, confidence in case, and the singer's capabilities to undertake such a major feat, huh? which I am certain many of the first would not be. For showing us the real meaning of excellence, we will forever be grateful. So Ed, those 40 years of choral music making has made your sound remarkably consistent, sculptured, and so uniquely your own. I would say that your legacy of craftsmanship and distinction will live forever, not only through the singers that you have, but also maybe through the recordings and through the videos that you leave behind. If you ask me, I would love to see you pass on a legacy to someone else who would chart their own paths of choral music excellence and blaze new trails of creativity.
for me, what makes the second Grand Prix Finals so memorable is the support of not only overseas Filipinos, but also Europeans who traveled all the way to Arezzo, Italy to support UPSA. This exemplifies what for me is UPSA's greatest achievement as one of Philippines' most outstanding ambassador. I think that Kuya Ed and UPSA, um, you've always been blessed, not just because of, of the hard work um, that we put into our projects, but maybe um, that because of the, the good karma that we're reaping because of the many acts of generosity and the kind of positive and resilient attitude that UPSA maintains to share what it has, every chance it gets um, when it can. For me, UPSA has always been all about service. And I believe no act could be more meaningful or more noble than that. For the past 40 years, UPSA has been doing its best to give something to the community and to give something to the world using the gift that was given to us, which is the gift of music, of course. We titled our send-off concert series as Tagumpay Natin Lahat because qualifying for the EGP is already a huge victory and this victory we shared with all of the people who helped us in our journey. All of our alumni members, all of our friends and mentors from the Philippine choral scene, all of our patrons and sponsors, and all of our family and friends. And most importantly, this victory is also the victory of the university and of the country. So, sabi nga nila, di ba, um, you do one good deed, it comes back tenfold. In a way, all of us are light bearers, sharing only that which has been given to us. May others trim that lamp to keep it burning. May they share that light to a multitude. Sa aking palagay, ito ay patuloy na inaani ng upsa sa nakalipas na 40 years. I would like to acknowledge the special people who have influenced my musical and choral life. I and Sita Kapagturo Kabeni Pangulayan, whose musicianship and strict leadership are unequaled. My high school teacher, Ms. Luisa Mayo, who gave me the confidence to lead and encouraged me to do my initial harmonizing skills, even only by ear, with our music classes. Ms. Angelina Bernardo, who helped me sustain through college by organizing the Kalayan Choral Crowd that eventually became the UP Singing Ambassadors. The late outstanding Filipino opera baritone, Professor Elmo Makil, who gave me a strong foundation on how to cure the voice and achieve homogeneity in choral sound. The late national artist for choral music, Professor Andrea Ovoneracion of the Madrigal Singers, who brought me to the very first World Symposium on Choral Music in Vienna, Austria, and inspired me to soar high. And most especially, our dearly beloved, the late Professor Ray T. Pagio, whose musical skills and gifts, charm and wit have sustained my passion for choral music and conducting and for caring for people. <laughs>